The best hiking shoes for women. Top 10 list. Looking for the best hiking and camping shoes? A quality pair of hiking shoes for women is a must when you're embarking on a great hike. A hiking shoe must be waterproof, breathable, and supportive. To help you find the perfect shoe for your next trip, we've put together this list of the best hiking shoes for women in 2020. To give you this top 10, we have looked at 103 products and analyzed 4,273 customer reviews. You will find all the links to the products shown in this review in the description below the video. At number 10 we have placed the Women's Trail Glove 5 from Merrill. Went on a camping trip with my parents and free climbed a 70 foot tree. I decided to come down and a branch broke. I free fell the entire way down. A surgeon came in and he sat down with my mom and my dad and he just said, she's probably never gonna be able to run again. You know, it started with one step in a bathroom without my crutches to the sink. And then I walked to the mailbox and then I ran to the end of the street and then I ended up training for a marathon. We actually start with the consumer first with everything we do, try to find out what their insights are, what their pain points are, what doesn't work for them. The people we were talking to were looking for shoes that really allowed them to move naturally and to connect. The most common denominator for a shoe to work for me indoors and outdoors, I want to be able to feel my foot move and feel the ground. Barefoot's always been about that connection and allowing everything to work in the way it's intended. The Trogla 5 uses our Barefoot 2 technology because the shoe is built around the shape of the foot, which sounds really simple, but it's actually not the way most shoes are built. Some of the things that worked well in Barefoot 1 that work well in Barefoot 2, we have a wide toe box that allows our toes to splay out. We have a really nice contoured arch, and then we have this really nice heel cuff that kind of locks in the heel. Those things have all stayed. The area that we really improved upon was the lateral rear foot, creating a little bit more width back there, and that allows the foot to fully splay out in that area, which really enhances stability in the foot, but also all the way up the leg. Wearing minimalist shoes, it's really helpful for your body to be training all aspects because in the outdoors, you're using every part of your body. It started off as a seed and now it's this massive tree. You know, it's the same thing with strength training. It's commitment and it's patience. Number nine, women's hiking shoes from TFO. Air Circulation Insole, a unique original creation by the American company USA. The first outdoor ink simulates the working mechanism of the lung's breathing system, therefore giving the insole breathing properties. It has shock absorption properties and easing fatigue in the foot. The Air Circulation Insole makes your every single pair of shoes as comfortable as having air soles. Number 8. Women's 510 V4 Cushioning Running Shoe from New Balance If I could give one piece of advice to someone who's training in Boston in the winter is uh, don't be stupid. If it's slippery, don't go outside. If it's extremely cold, don't go outside. My name's Holly Reese. Um, I'm originally from the United Kingdom, um, but I moved to Boston in 2014 to do my PhD here. So I actually didn't really run very much until I moved to the United States. And when I came to Boston, kind of was really enthused and amazed by the running community and atmosphere here. Um, I actually watched a friend run the marathon the first year I was here and decided I really wanted to do it one day. It's definitely nicer to be somewhere warm or at altitude or something like that in terms of training perspective, but that's not possible. So I need to just get, get things done whenever, whenever I can. Knowing that I have these really amazing women and men to train with kind of raises your game and is a really big inspiration for trying to, to reach a high level in, in the sport. I run a lot after work and leaving work and it's already, you know, pitch black. It's very cold. You have to go home and bundle up and, you know, put on a headlamp and just go outside and you feel like, why am I doing this? I'm crazy. My name is Rosie Donegan and I'm from Melbourne, Australia. I lived in Boston for almost two years. Boston is just the best of both worlds, I think, in terms of 
the opportunities for my career and also the running community. Boston really has such a unique training environment with all of the groups. The weather definitely is tough, but I think when you're with a bunch of other people and you're all toughing it out together, it's, it's okay. <laughs> Running in Boston in the winter is a challenge, trying to figure out which roads are plowed, trying to figure out when you can get on an indoor track or a treadmill. It's exciting to get out there in the snow and the fresh air, especially if you've been cooped up in an office all day. My name is Haley Green. I am from Wellington, New Zealand. I've been running since I was 10 years old, so that's nearly 20 years. I run for Battle Road Track Club. We're an elite post-collegiate group and it's actually been one of the best things about living in Boston for me to be surrounded by women who have careers but still focus on running at a high level. I've been really inspired by them and it's great to meet people at the end of the day where maybe everybody's a bit tired from work or they're stressed about something that happened at work and we can put it aside and just focus on our run and, and get things done. Number seven, Sawtooth 2, low, B-dry hiking shoe from Oboes. The Sawtooth low B-dry waterproof could easily become the most used shoe in your closet. Our best-selling style for women, this leather and fabric low height shoe is a great day hiker and backpacker. This medium volume fitting shoe is narrow in the heel to eliminate slippage, reducing the chance for blisters. A wider forefoot and toe box provides ample room for your toes. This leather and fabric shoe features breathable mesh vents and a supportive external heel counter. At Oboes, every B-Dry waterproof breathable membrane is tested to be 100% waterproof. This boot is also treated with a durable water repellent finish. Our proprietary O-Fit insole is made up of three different densities of EVA foam, which provide cushioning and underfoot support. The end goal of this insole is to place your feet into a neutral position and provide superior fit, feel, and performance. Our sawtooth midsole is built to be versatile, flexible, and supportive. The cushioning EVA midsole is soft underfoot, great for hard surfaces, but certainly capable of multi-day backpacking trips. Deep lugs shed mud, offer intense traction, and maintain trail stability. Sidewall lugs grip off-camber trails while conserving weight. The map on the bottom of the outsole features the sawtooth mountain range near Sun Valley, Idaho. The Sawtooth Low B Dry Waterproof has the versatile features that make it ready for any condition. Number 6. Women's Terradora Hiking Shoe from Keen. Cardio is cardio. There's no rule book for working out. You get to make up your own rules. And maybe you don't want a ceiling on your fitness today. So you seek outdoor terrain. It could be on city sidewalks, or mountain paths, or hills, or stairs. They're all trails ready to be rocked. It's what we call trail fit. And it's hard, calorie burning work. The thing is, it's more than a workout. It's a head clearing sweat. Because when you're outside, you're in sync. You're connecting your heart to the universe, to mother nature and the fast pace of the city. Introducing the Keen Terradora. Fit for you and whatever trail you choose. Number five, women's Targi 2 outdoor shoe from Keen. My name is Sean O'Connor and I'm a professional photographer that focuses on adventure and conservation photography. When I head out into the field, sometimes I just go way out. I realized very quickly that photography became just a, a natural part of my life. And the reason that we do this is so we can be outside. The weather varies completely. The weather can be beautiful or it can be a torrential downpour. And when it comes down to it, our feet need to be dry. So having a really good pair of shoes is important. Our feet are our most important tool out there because it gets us where we gotta go. When I was about 17, I decided I was gonna get paid to play and have really lived that. At age 30, I got it. Got it pretty down, I think. Number four, Sport Women's Delights from Skechers. Hey, hold on.
Number 3. Women's Patch Leather Hiking Boots from Forsake. Number 2. Moab 2 Vent Hiking Shoes from Merrill. Hey everyone, I'm Adam with Merrill. I'm here to talk to you today about your next favorite pair of hiking shoes. So this is the Moab 2 Waterproof for women. So this shoe is super versatile. It allows you to really do anything you want in it. You can go hike in it, you can wear it to work, you can be on your feet all day in it, and you're going to be really comfortable. So let's take a look at what makes it so versatile. First from the outsole, we've got this Vibram rubber on it, which is really grippy and really durable. Uh, so when you're out on the trail, you're going to be confident that you're going to have lots of traction, but it's also going to last you for years and years. When we get into the midsole, we've got our Merrill Air Cushion right under the heel, which absorbs a ton of impact and also helps kind of center that heel in the shoe where we want it. And then getting into the upper, we've got this nice performance suede on here. Um, it cleans up really great and it's also really durable. Looking here, you can see this stability band that wraps both sides of the shoe. Uh, this gives it a little bit of extra structure and support, so if you are uh, carrying a light or medium weight pack, you're going to be well supported in it. This tag right here uh, says m -like Dry. This is our waterproof breathable membrane. Uh, so this shoe not only is fully waterproof, but it's also breathable, which means your foot can sweat and those sweat vapors will release out of the shoe. Uh, but it doesn't allow water molecules into the shoe. So even though it looks really meshy here, it's 100% waterproof. So this shoe, like most Merrells, will feature our typical fit. It's going to be snug in the heel, uh, precise over that instep, and really roomy in that toe box. So like I said, this shoe is going to be super comfortable right out of the box, so you can get a pair and hit the trail today. Number 1. Speedcross 4 Trail Running Shoe from Solomon. Guys and gals, this is the Speedcross 4. First thing you notice on this shoe is the traction. It's loaded with it. Starting at the bottom of the shoe, we have our premium wet traction contagrip. The lugs on the bottom of the shoe are six millimeters deep and are spaced far enough apart that they do a great job to shed the mud and debris. The sense of fit acts as a big hand to hold that midfoot in place as you're in really technical, loose terrain. Quick lace is going to be four times stronger than traditional lace. Conveniently, it tucks right into the lace garage at the top of the tongue. Precision fit comes from the feather lasting that we use that holds the foot securely in place all the way through the forefoot. This works out really well on a variety of technical terrain where you're hitting a bunch of different angles. It keeps your foot right in place in the shoe. No rubbing, no blisters, no chafing. The Speedcross 4 also features anti-debris mesh. It's a tightly knit mesh that does a great job of keeping debris and mud from pouring right into the shoe. Furthermore, the rubber toe bumper on here does a great job of protecting your toes when you start kicking roots and rocks. On the inside of the shoe, we have our Ortholite sock liner. It's a memory foam that does a great job of keeping the foot comfortable every time you put the shoe on. The Speedcross 4 is also available in Gore-Tex. Gore-Tex is a waterproof, breathable membrane that does a great job of keeping your foot nice and dry in really sloppy and muddy conditions. This shoe is also available in Clima Solomon. Clima Solomon is a unique take on water resistance protection. What that means is as you step into a puddle and water splashes your toe, no water comes in. When you're going through wet grass, it's keeping your foot nice and dry. This is what I jokingly refer to as our mullet technology. It's business in the front, party in the back. The Speedcross 4 is also available and wide. When the conditions are bad, this has become my go-to shoe. It offers so much traction in loose, muddy, wet terrain. There's nothing better than the Speedcross 4. Thanks for watching. Did this video help you find what you were looking for? Click the like button or let us know in the comments below. And if you want more info on the best products for your next trip, then remember to subscribe now. Finally, here are some more outdoor product videos we thought you might find useful.